The Sea Monster by Chris Wormill. Down at the bottom of the ocean, there lived a great sea monster. Barnacles and limpets clung to his scaly skin and seaweed grew from every wrinkle. In the gloom, his eyes shone bright green. Most of the time, he stayed down in the wavering kelp, watching the boat sail by. But sometimes, early in the morning, he would swim up to the shore and sit among the rocks at the corner of a lonely beach. He would sit very still and the seaweed hid his bright eyes so no one ever saw him there. Mostly, he was content just to watch. One day, a boy came down to the beach with his dog to sail a little boat in the tide pools. Among the rocks at the corner of the beach, he found a deep pool where the water was crystal clear. As he watched sea anemones, and crabs at the bottom, the boy had the feeling he was being watched. Then he saw something shining bright green high up on a seaweed covered rock and he started to climb. His dog began to bark. My boat, cried the boy as the sea took his little yacht and carried it out among the waves. He scrambled down but it was too late. The boat was far out of reach. The boy dived in, but the ocean current had caught the boat and was taking it further out to sea. The current caught the boy too, and soon he was far out in the deep water beyond the bay. He could just hear the barking of his dog echoing among the rocks. High on the cliff, above the corner of the beach, in a grey stone cottage, there lived an old fisherman. It was a while since he had sailed the seas, catching fish, and most of the time now he made model boats. Or sat alone on the cliff top, watching the boats sail by. He saw seals and porpoises and great basking sharks, and sometimes he saw strange green light shining in the murky deep. On this morning, he heard barking in the bay below and looking down, saw a little white dog jumping from rock to rock and splashing in the surf. Turning to the ocean, the old fisherman could just make out the head of a boy among the distant waves. Beside the cottage, stone steps climbed down the cliff. It was a long time since the old fisherman had been that way, but he could still run down two steps at a time. At the bottom, he kept a boat hidden among the rocks. Although it was years since he'd rowed the boat, the fisherman could still pull through the waves like in the old days. Far out into the ocean the old fisherman rode, but he saw no sign of the boy. The waves grew big and the sky grew dark and the old man had almost given up hope when suddenly the little white dog began to bark. And there on a round rock covered with barnacles and limpets and with seaweed growing from every crack, they found the boy.